So welcome back. Currently we're camping uh, about five miles west of Congress, Arizona. Um, just on some state trust land. I, there's nobody else here that I'm aware of. And uh, yeah, just got the whole place to ourselves. So it's pretty nice. The weather's a little warmer compared to up north, but it's still pretty windy and cold. I don't know why this is not coming out. <laughs> Currently, um, it's crapshoot on if this generator is going to run or not. It seems like everything I have right now is halfway broken. It works when I test it, and then it doesn't work when I need it. This now is included, and with everything else, um, yeah, I just I'm trying to bring every source of heat I have. This would run an electric heater. Um, just because I'm currently having issues with every source of heat. <laughs> Everything is, nothing is reliable. Um, I don't know. We'll see if this even turns on. It works right now, but Last time I used it, it would run for about 15 minutes and then just shut off. We'll see if it runs tonight. So tonight I wanna to cook some uh, chicken and I don't know I feel like it'd be best if I just did it over charcoal so I'm gonna set this up and just use it as like a uh, I don't know charcoal grill <laughs> because it's got the grill top on it Get some charcoal. I have this partial bag. I'll see if it's enough. Eh, I have another bag. I think I'm going to get some more. Pull from the end on front of bag. Is that the front? Yeah, that's the front. Pull on the end, right? So it says. Yeah, I feel like there was supposed to be some sort of a easier way of opening that. Either way. Holy moly. I just ripped the whole bag open. Alright. Come on, match light. <laughs> How about this? There we go. <laughs> there still is a breeze. I'm not going to get any bigger of a fire than that going because. I just don't want to get a rager going and then have it blowing sparks too far. Okay, this is good. All right. He 
nice damn warm in here. I'm gonna get some dinner going. Uh, I'm get some butter. Ooh, got some garlic. I currently have the chicken. It's been kind of defrosting slash getting closer to room temperature. Um, I'm going to make some kind of, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet, but uh, I do have some ideas. I'm actually going to borrow part of a recipe from a story a friend of mine just told me a few days ago about how they usually prepare a turkey. I know this is not turkey, it's chicken. But uh, they, and I'm, I'm not going to go fully off of it. They were telling me about how they like melted butter and put some seasonings in and then re, re refrigerated the butter and then uh, cut that butter up and put it inside the turkey. Uh, we don't have time and it's not a turkey and I'm just not going to do it that way. So what I am going to do though is I'm going to melt some butter and put some seasonings in it. And then I'm going to kind of baste the chicken into the butter and then grill it and see what happens. I mean, it might turn out really good. It might not really make a difference at all, but we'll see. It is cold out there. The wind does not help. I mean, it has definitely died down, but it's, it's still pretty, you know, what? I'll just maybe use all that. Not that I'm going to use it all in the chicken, but enough to be able to batter the chicken in it. Ah, to microwave that, I don't want to use my batteries. I'm going to go and start the generator. You can see the microwave's on, but I don't want to run it off of the solar power. I want to, like, see, I had kind of installed this new outlet. This outlet is my solar. That outlet is the shore power. So it is on, but I don't want to burn up my battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this gray plug over to there. There, and now it's back on. Now I can use it and it's just gonna draw power from the generator, which this might take a minute or so to melt. We'll start with one minute. Buddy, what are you doing over there? He's digging a hole? You're not gonna get very far. What was that? Butter making noises. You look cozy. You wanna sit out by the fire with me? It's really cold and windy. No? Okay, I just have some minced garlic. I'm just going to throw a spoon in. I'm not really following a specific recipe, just adding it how I think would taste good. I got some ground thyme and some rosemary. I'm going to put a little extra rosemary in so it sticks to the chicken. Ah, I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. Hang on. Regular pepper. And then I got some Himalayan pink salt. Wow, they seal these up great. Sheesh. All right. gonna take one put it in we're not really marinating anything just covering everything with this sauce okay 
That one didn't really work. I don't know what's going on now. It's kind of like the chicken is so cold it's making the butter hard. And I've already kind of almost ran out of butter. Well, isn't this video just a, <laughs> a complete disaster? <laughs> All right, those coals are red hot. Attempt to spread them out a little bit. I don't want to spread them too thin. There we go. This butter will probably just melt off and go down in the fire. So be it. Maybe it'll. Oh, I already lighting her all on fire. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, that butter's just dripping right off. All right. I don't know if you can hear this, but that's the sound of wasting an entire stick of butter. We tried. Actually, I don't want to. I don't want to sit there and say it's not going to work yet. Um, we'll see what it looks like or it tastes like when it's done. Who knows? Right now, it just looks like all the melter, all the melters buttering off. Try not to burn up all this wood. I don't know if somebody stacked it here to come back later or if they left it here for me, but I just don't want to be rude and take all of it. I'm going to take a good amount. Well, I had no clue butter was flammable to that extent. I guess when it's dripped onto open flames, then uh, it does that. But it kind of looks like we already need to flip them. Wow. Holy moly. That's already charred completely black. Oh, goodness. This is a train wreck. Wow, I feel like this chicken is gonna go to waste. It's already charred completely black on the outside and the, and the chicken's still raw. We'll see what happens. Let's see what it's looking like. It's almost done, I think. In fact, I mean, it probably is. These are probably done, the smaller ones. Yeah. Oh, almost lost a piece. All right, I have all sorts of things going on. I'm gonna get Mason fed. He looks hungry. I have broccoli steaming in the microwave, I have chicken resting, uh, and that's Mason's food bowl. Okay. <laughs> Just drop broccoli down in this dough. That's alright. Just here to relax. It's okay if everything goes wrong. <laughs> I made, uh, cheesy broccoli. Basically I just warmed it all the way up and then put a bunch of shredded cheese in it and then warmed it up for another 30 seconds or so. All right. Uh, it wasn't a total loss. I, honestly, it's probably the best chicken I've ever made myself personally yeah I, I like give it for chicken I give it a 9 out of 10 I mean I thought it was going to be like a total complete loss but I think that's a pretty solid option I would I would do it again so last week I spent 
four days with some friends at Lake Alamo and I was there for Thanksgiving a year ago and I actually made a video. Hi, welcome back. My name is Larry. We're heading to Lake Alamo State Park. Uh, we're about 30 miles outside of it. I've been driving all morning trying to get here. I've never been here before, so this is all new to me. I'd like to uh, explore it with you guys. I'm going to meet a friend there, possibly a couple friends. I'm not sure how all is going to be there. And uh, yeah, it should be a really fun night, so stick around. There's something in it. If it's anthrax and I die, uh, you'll know where I'm at, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I went there and it was supposed to be kind of a special, big, special Thanksgiving video that I had planned, but it included using my boat and I got there and tested the boat out on day one and it worked great right up until it broke and it no longer runs right now. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with it. So that was, I kind of busted the whole week. I mean, the whole week was kind of based around being at the lake on the water it just didn't work out and uh maybe it just wasn't meant to work out i don't really know i was there with some friends like i said and i uh got some video footage of me and my friend sean and we did a little dirt bike riding on his dirt bikes and i honestly had a lot of fun i have not been on a dirt bike 20 years probably and even then it wasn't a very big dirt bike. It was just a little like Honda 50. And um, I have ridden a motorcycle on pavement, a Harley for years, um, or, you know, cruiser type bikes for years. But uh, yeah, it took me a little getting used to the dirt bike, but you can see, I, I end up getting pretty comfortable with it and ended up having a lot of fun. So check out this video real quick. All right, so we're out here on the trails. Uh, I'm here with my good buddy, Sean, right here. So here are the bikes that we're riding, Sean's bikes. Um, Sean, what kind of bikes are these? Okay, Larry's riding a TTR This fire has me warm from about the knees down, but uh, it's still nice just to be out here. I was in a really bad mood yesterday, and uh, I notice that it typically happens based around these videos. Um, not because I don't want to do the videos, it's because I want to do the videos. And everything else in my life seems to push me away a lot of times. Um, in my current situation, I feel like I have um, a point of view that a lot of people don't have I, because there are months where I live like I'm a, I'm a retired person and then there's months where I live like a person that works every day. <laughs> so it's from one extreme to the other. And uh, I notice when I'm working, I, I think I have it under control and... Um, I'm giving her all she's got, you know, and then the next thing you know, more things pile on. I got something that's broken or another job that comes up or something, whatever. I start by deleting things that I feel like I can do without. 
Like, for instance, going to the gym. I kind of let that go away for the last month or whatever. Uh, my diet kind of went off the rails the last week with the holidays. And um, my sleep, I typically start getting less sleep because those are just things that I feel like are the easiest things to substitute for. So if I don't have enough time in the day to edit a video, I just lose sleep or whatever. That's just an example. Um, I feel like most people are just ran to that point to where they have no more things to exhaust. They're exhausted. And living that way, I would imagine most people, including myself, tend to have a short fuse because you're just maxed out with stress and, and um, exhaustion and, and just one little thing piles on and you just lose it. At least that's for me, you know. Then, on the other end of the spectrum, when I'm out here doing these videos and I'm living life more like a retired person, I feel like I grow as a person. Um, I'm, I'm constantly just working on my mental health, and then I, I have time to go back to the gym. I have time to to feed myself correctly and, and have time to even go to the grocery store to find the food that I need, you know? I mean, I just have more time, and with more time, I notice I become more happy. Um, the whole point of this channel was to work less, enjoy life more. Meaning, like, you need more time for yourself. You need more time to enjoy life. Long-term goals, I feel like people just should slow down. Stop buying new trucks. Stop buying new cars. Stop buying the new side-by-side. -side. Just stop buying that stuff. Unless you have the money and the means to do it already, don't keep doing it. People just buy new stuff because they think it makes them happy. And it does at first. It always does at first. But it will always let you down. And mo I don't know why, including myself, people in general have a problem with that. I catch myself all the time thinking, well, I'd like a new camper or I'd like a new, uh, you know, motorcycle or a new <sighs> daily driver vehicle, something. I, I, I catch myself all the time thinking this way. And then I... I have to catch myself and, and, and figure it for the long-term goal. I can't do all that. I can't keep racking up bills because as soon as I do, I have to work harder and I have to work longer. And when I do that, more things go to the wayside, which are usually my own personal health. And without your health, there's nothing. So if you want to know how to be in a better mood and you want to know how to be happy, a quick fix would be kind of reset, go on a camping trip. I'm sorry. You know what? I'll stop. I'm not even going to give advice. I'm just going to tell you what I do. I do that. I go camping. I try to just go in a room by myself and I, and I try to just calm down. And sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But um, another step along the way is I, I usually talk to a family member or a friend, but I, I don't just pick anybody. I pick the people that I know are going to come back with positive comments and positive just suggestions, you know. Um, it's not going to help me get in a better mood if I go and talk to the most miserable person I know because they're just going to keep making me more miserable. It is as simple as just a mindset. If you're going to be in a bad mood and you keep telling yourself more things to put you in a bad mood, you're just going to keep staying in a bad mood. But if you can relax, calm down, go back to just the simple things, get more, get a, get a good night's sleep. Eat some good food, not not garbage. You know what I'm talking about. I don't need to <laughs> discuss that. But uh, drink plenty of water. Do the, the simple things in life. Calm down. And then talk to a friend. Or just something to divert your mind even. If you don't have anybody to talk to, then sometimes I just put headphones on and I'll listen to just more inspirational type of music. Well, the heater is currently working. I got it up to 73 in here. We'll see if it works all night, but buddy, you ready to go potty? You wanna go outside? You know what I'm saying. Come on, you wanna go outside? Let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Moon is not full, it's very close though. 
and you guys probably can't see but it's actually nice i actually don't even really need a flashlight i can kind of see around me but uh the camera is not going to show that anyways oh oh you all excited you ready to go in no. why'd you burger in it Do you even know what you're barking at? Come on. morning. I still, I mean, uh, found some peppermint mocha. <laughs> Let me get that in, in focus here. Peppermint mocha coffee creamer from the gas station. I actually got a couple extra for the coffee I got yesterday and then I never used them. So I'm going to use them on my coffee this morning. Good to the last drop. Yeah, I actually think I got it right that time. Just feels so much better after a good night's rest and getting into a better mindset. It's just a beautiful day and I'm looking forward to it, you know? Oh, hey, that's cool. I don't know. I was so busy holding the camera and uh, waving. I didn't even see if they were waving or not. So uh, I'm curious. I'll have to review the footage, see if they were waving or, or whatever. But uh, Mason is currently not wanting to move. It's nice and warm. I have my short sleeves on right now and he's just enjoying the sunshine. I don't think he could be any happier. I don't think I could be any happier right now. Honestly, like I just been out here drinking coffee all morning, listening to music, and I'm getting ready to head in now and make a little breakfast. Notice there's two types of people in the world. There's people that like their bacon nice and crunchy, you know, the right way. And then there's people that are disgusting and have it still soft. I'm just, I'm totally kidding. I get back and forth. Sometimes I like them crunchy, sometimes not so much. What about you guys? Bacon's bacon, so honestly, there's just not a lot of bad ways to cook it.
think these eggs are done. You can just barely see his little white paw hanging right there. I've been keeping an eye on him. Oh, there he is. Oh, it, it, it. I got the sun in his eyes. I've been keeping an eye on him. He's just really been enjoying laying out there and I didn't want to bring him back in while I make breakfast. Plus he's tied up, so he should be all right. I'm actually cooking Mason a little bit of hamburger for his breakfast this morning. Sometimes when he doesn't eat his dog food, I'll just make him plain hamburger and he'll eat that. But uh, while that's cooking, I actually wanted to say something I appreciate it. Somebody sent me a card with a really nice message wrote inside. I'm not gonna say who it's from or what it says, but um, it was very pleasant to read and, and I really appreciate you sending that. And it actually, she sent some stickers, a little doggy, sort of spooky, I assume for my sort of spooky videos and enjoying life, smiley face and a fish or a trout, you know? Um, yeah, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And, and like I said before, down in the description, there is a uh, PO box if you want to send anything to the channel. And there's also affiliate links and links to anything that I've reviewed if you're curious on buying that stuff. But this is almost done. I think it is done. I'm going to go ahead and let some cool down for him. And then, uh, then we can eat some breakfast. All right, buddy. You ready for breakfast? There you go. And you're probably the only dog in the world that sits there with hamburger and a little piece of bacon on top and not want to eat it. You don't even seem concerned about it, buddy. You don't want to eat this morning? That's fine. I'm going to eat, though. I always like to find places like this where nobody's ever at. I mean, I'm surprised. There's just nobody here. But I guess because for side-by-sides, ATVs would be kind of boring. There's no big hills or anything. Uh, there's no shade trees. There's, it's not really anywhere in particular. It's between small towns. It's just, I don't know, I guess just not very enticing for people. And I like finding places like this for busy weekends like now. This is Thanksgiving weekend. It's a four-day weekend. And when I was at the lake, every single camping spot was booked um, by the time I left on Friday because I was going to stay another night. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm glad I found a place like this that isn't really busy. Also, uh, somebody sent Mason some money. And with that money, I got him this, uh, man, can you see it? This new name tag. It says Mason on it. And it's got a little camper in the desert camping. Of course, the backside has my phone number. But uh, I have that blacked out for camera reasons. <laughs> and he seems to really enjoy it. He likes it. You don't want to eat it out of the bowl, but you'll eat little morsels at a time. I get it. <laughs> what about the bacon? You want the bacon? You want a piece of bacon? <gasps> oh, yeah. You love bacon, huh? Yeah, I'm not spoiled. I'm smart, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, huh? Yeah. <laughs> There's a whole bowl right here if you want to just eat that. <laughs> you don't want to eat. You don't want to eat it. Oh my goodness! Oh. I can't believe I'm making you eat out of a bowl, huh? <laughs> 